Welcome back to Vertex Off-Road. In this video, I'll walk you through how to install our seat covers in the 2016 to 2023 Toyota Tacoma. Now, whether you're looking to keep your seats clean or personalize and upgrade your truck, these covers are a factory matching fit. They're made from top quality, true timber strata canvas, combined with a high density foam layer that's not only good looking, but also durable, UV protected, and water repellent. The seat covers come 100% complete and ready to install. Everything you need for your interior is automatically included with your order. You'll have the front seat covers, the back seat covers, pockets on the back of the driver and passenger seats, as well as all the headrest covers and a cover for the lid in the front center console too. Before we begin, we'll gather everything we need to complete the installation. Since you do not need to take the seats out of your truck and you also should not remove your factory upholstery, then the only tool you'll need is the blue vertex offroad.com tuck tool that's already included in the box. First off, let's remove all the adjustable headrests in the truck and then we'll remove the carpet flap on the back of the driver and the passenger seats too. If you're working on a brand new truck today, notice that Toyota puts a little bit of oil on the headrest post that go into your seat. So make sure you don't get that oil on your fingers and then on your seats. If you have electric seats, good idea to raise them all the way up just to make a little more room underneath your seat. These carpet flaps are only cosmetic and will remain disconnected and fold inside of the new seat covers, which will also cover over the back of the seat in the same way, so you still get a clean, finished look when you're done. You'll see which of the bottom cushions is right for the driver's seat because of this alteration right here. Now, if your truck has manual seats, Instead of having buttons here, you'll have a knob right here. That's what this opening is for. You'll put this over the top of that knob, tighten it back up, and then the same as we do in this truck, we're gonna tuck the material all the way down here so all the edges are concealed and out of sight. Next, connect the paracord seat cinch down between the cushion and the seat frame, and then secure it around behind the back of the seat. If you suck at tying knots, that's okay. We just use a really simple half hitch and do it two or three times and then tuck the tails up into the seat springs so they're out of sight. I like to tie a temporary knot first, then double check the fit and position of the seat covers before I tie a more permanent knot. Okay, now find the correct backrest cover for the driver's seat by locating the Vertex Off-Road label that is sewn into the back, outside seam of the seat covers. Each set of Vertex Off-Road seat covers is sewn with a red safety thread in the same locations as the airbags inside of your seats. This thread is designed to break open more easily if needed, so it's important that you get this part right. Slide this cover into place, tuck the material down around the headrest molding, and then tuck the excess material from front to back and connect it below the pocket on the back of your seats. This process is identical on the passenger side of the truck and will time how long it takes me.
Okay, next up we're gonna put on the console cover. It just goes on the lid here, it'll slide down over the top and kind of like you would roll up the bottom of your pant leg so you don't step on the cuffs. We're just gonna roll the bottom edge of this console up first and then we'll slide it down over the top. So then we can get it really tight and then we'll just roll the bottom edges so it wraps around nice. Next, for the back seats, Toyota made it easy to fold all the seats forward, which makes installation hassle-free. Okay, now we'll start with the passenger side backrest. Now you'll be tempted to undo the Velcro and then start putting the cover onto the seat. However, it's best to pull the seat belt out away from the backrest, tuck the seat cover underneath the strap, and then connect the Velcro before you start to install it onto the seat. That Velcro seam can be kind of tight if you try to connect it after you put it on the cushion. It's possible, but just do it my way and you'll have a happier life. Once that cover is pulled down into place, you'll secure the Velcro underneath from front to back and then connect it on the back side of the backrest. And now just do the same thing on the driver's side. Last up, we'll install the bottom cushions by fitting the cover over the top, connecting the straps underneath, and then locking the seat cover into place with the paracord seat cinch. You can do this in stages. First get everything connected and double check the placement, and then pull it tight and lock it down. So the last thing we have to do is put on the headrest covers. Now we could go ahead and install those here on the tailgate, but since there's a little bit of oil on the headrest posts, we're gonna go ahead and put them back in the truck and then put the headrests on, just so we don't transfer any of that oil onto the original upholstery or onto the new seat covers. If you have any questions we can answer, make sure to leave them in the comments below, like and subscribe to our page, and let us know what other trucks you'd like us to make seat covers for. And until then, keep it between the ditches. I'll see you next time.